on how creating awareness and engaging talent through social media platform. Without further ado, let me introduce myself. I'm Kavina Tisa, I co my co presenter Anushi. And these are my group members who work with us each project. The objective of this project is to evaluate the engagement level of the current social media platform and also how to, uh, to propose a specific social media to enhance the employer branding. These are the agendas of your company. We are going to look at engagement, target, and awareness. The first thing we are going to look at is the problem segment. Why people are not aware of Westport Malaysia? As we can see here, this is a post posted by Westport Malaysia on 9th August. And one person asked the question to Westport. Until this second, there's no any response from Westport Malaysia. Uh, this is like, uh, due to lack of communication. This could be a reason for them as well. Second is why the branding of Westport is not recognized well. They only have two social media platforms for now, which is Facebook and LinkedIn. If they increase their own uh, social media platform, this could be a... People can well recognize about their product. Next, we are going to talk about the target audience. First, the, about the job information. I think people will look into more detail, but this is a survey from English. Uh, they will look the employer rating from employees at Transport Malaysia. I think people will look into more job environment, but they don't get stressed in the workplace. They will look more into the job activities, but they also support to provide the CSI activities for them as well, for passive people. Next is active people where they in short term they do not stick to one job and if let's say for example if they get any better job they will leave their current job. For passive people, professionally they desire to grow and eventually they will know what they need, what are the goals and what they have to do for their work. Next we are going to talk about the EVP. As you can see here, Westport Media has a lot of benefits. As for the first thing is the management training. In fact, Westport has sent 150 staff to overseas for the post attachment seminars and workshop and etc. And also, as Pauline and Naring said in the kickoff, they give a reward 500 ringgit for each two first babies of their employee and called as Westport changes. And also, they provide career opportunities where only Westport include Malaysian people, which is the good thing about Westport. And also they provide medical insurance where they cover personal accident of their employee, also the coverage for their family members. Next, we are going to talk about the culture. They are also following Tansi's uh, chief culture and also they are having family environment. Last but not least, the Westport Job Seekers where they recruit 14 young executives in uh, six months once as a part of success plan of Westport Malaysia. Next, I'm going to uh, pass it to Sir Anushri to talk about the social media of competitors. Next, I'll be talking about the social media of our competitors. So, just for information, we choose YouTube to to, to let uh, Westport grow more in their branding. Okay, so starting off with the competitors, the competitors we chose is Pinacord and Postadu. Pinacord is one of the oldest and longest established courts in Malaysia. They operate 24 hours daily for trams and Mondays and they are also the main gate away for the northern shippers. Okay. Pinacord uses Facebook to post job advertisements, services, videos and etc. They also have a YouTube page again to post videos and about their job information. Next, Post Laju. Post Laju is Malaysia's number one career company. They, serve, they provide services for both domestic and international. And also for a fact, they, post, they mail out 4 million mails per day. Post Laju uses Facebook to connect with their consumers mm -hmm. as well to post up job advertisement services and also post videos. They also use YouTube to post the same videos, events and etc. Next will be the strength and weaknesses of Westport in social media. Based on our research, Westport strength is in Facebook. Their number of followers is 9,200 and that is actually high. Also the number of likes, comments and share. In this post of a job advertisement, there's 344 3, likes and 245 shares that Westport got. But however, their downfall is in YouTube. Due to the recognition, only three videos were 
were posted. And also the videos that posted were seven years ago. Till date, there's no other videos that were posted in the Sport YouTube page. I think they've not got a buffer. And company just we chose is Penang Court. And Penang Court's strength is also in Facebook. Their number of likes is high as 8,394. And the number of private advertisements, they frequently post job advertisements in their Facebook page. And also, quite a number of people are interested. Their downfall is YouTube too, due to recognition, but they have 135 subscribers compared to a squad that only had 43. And also, they do not link with any other channels. In a conclusion, both the companies does well, and both the companies does well, and they can improve more in their YouTube base. Thanks for having us here.